Hello and welcome. My name is Brandon and this is my first golf vlog. Today I'm playing the front nine at the Lynx Golf Course in Otsego, Michigan. First hole is a 300 yard par four playing from the whites. It's about 210 yards or so to the end of the fairway. So I'm playing a five iron here. Um, I left it open and uh, it had no warm up or anything. So I went right. Um, I didn't go out of bounds, but I ended up pretty close to out of bounds. I got to play a little low punch, kind of punch chip shot here to stay below these trees and just get down somewhere near the green. Okay. Unfortunately, I pulled that a little bit left of target and it did not move left or right at all. So uh, camera angle's tough here, but I'm basically... Um, left you can see by the red dot indicated on the map there I've got about 30 yards left here a little bit too much juice on that one I've got a downhill putt here <clears throat> It looked like it was going to swing a lot to me. I'm aiming about three feet outside the hole here. Again, without any time to warm up before the round, wasn't real clear on how the greens were going to roll. And it just kind of died on me. I've got about five feet left for bogey. I think the aim here is about a uh, half a cup outside right. Curled right in, bogey. Okay, the second hole here, 377 yard par four. Driver often gets me into trouble with this tree that they have overhanging the fairway on the left. You can see just over my shoulders. Um, I elected to play a three iron here. It's online, but I caught that one a little heavy, so I definitely don't get full distance out of it. I made it onto the fairway, but I have a pretty, um, a pretty inclined lie here, and I'm a long way from the hole still. 185 yards, this is a 4-iron. Man, that sounded sweet. I hit that really well, 185 yards out, and put that about 20, 25 feet left of the pin, pin high. I read this as uh, left edge. Clearly, it was more than left edge. I got about three and a half feet here left for par. Hundred and fifty four yard par three here. The pin is tucked behind the bunker, uh, the front bunker on the right. Um, I'm going to play an eight iron here. Looks good. In the hole. We gathered a little bit of a gallery there for that shot. So I got about 30 feet here, and I've got to go over this nodule on my right, and it's kind of a double breaker. It'll break left and then back right to the hole. Slow down, slow down. 
but I gave that way too much steam. I didn't take into account the, how much speed it would pick up once it got onto the downhill slope. I got about 10 feet here left for par. The reed is about a cup outside right, I believe. Miss. Tap that in for bogey. 357 yard par. Four. Uh, this is a pretty tough hole. Driver gets me into trouble with the fairway tree, so I'm taking a three iron off the tee here. I left the club face wide open and it sprayed right pretty hard on me. So I lost distance and went right. I'm now on the rough. 180 yards to the pin. This is a five iron. Wind is left to right here. So, as you can see, I went right again. I made pretty good distance with that 5-iron, but now I'm kind of close to, I'm pretty much pin high um, off on the right rough here. Need to just try and pitch it close. didn't quite catch it clean so it was a little short of what I was trying to do I've got about 12 feet here and it's downhill breaking right to left this is for par just didn't put that out there far enough About three and a half feet here, <clears throat> left for bogey. And I whiffed it, just awful. So I ended up with a double there. I'm now four over through four. This is a 501 yard par five. It's the hardest hole in the course. It's quite a bit uphill, guard bunkers like crazy up in front of the uh, I shouldn't say like crazy. One giant guard bunker up in front of the green. Uh, it's just a tough, tough hole. Driver's not been my friend lately, but I just didn't think I could risk not using it for the distance. So I found the fairway. I got out there a little ways. Um, I'm just trying to lay up here. I'm on a bit of a downhill slope with my ball. 5-iron feels comfortable, so that's what I'm choosing to lay up with here. I made the distance on the carry that I wanted to. I just let it go right on me again. I have 106 yards to the flag. There's a large guard bunker before the green so I'm using my 120 club here since it's elevated and hoping that I can get down somewhere near the flag it's just too much club so I've got a tricky chip here onto a left to right breaking downhill green this whole play is just tough So that one really got onto that slope and ran downhill. I've got 15 feet left for par. The reed is about two and a half cups outside right. That was a great read and a good roll. Just didn't quite go. Hole six is a par three. 
163 yards. I believe the flag marked when I dinged it 161. Um, wind is pretty neutral. It is downhill. I'm going to try my 7 iron. And 7 iron was way too much club. Tricky little chip out of the rough. Good for distance, but was way left of the hole. I've got about uh, 12 feet here, breaking right to left for par. I gave that way too much respect. Tap in for bogey. I am six over through six on this hole. I'm going to try a three iron off the tee here. The goal is to hit up left of that guard tree in the fairway. You can see just over my hat right now. And again, I left my club face open and the ball went right on me. So bad, in fact, that I actually hit the tree that you see in the center right of the screen right now and bounced backwards to where I am. I feel fortunate because I have a lane to the flag, which you can see in the middle of the screen. I have 188 yards to the flag. This is a five iron. That was a shank. Indeed it was. Now I just had to hack out of here to get uh, laying back at the flag. I am trying to get up and down for bogey here. A little 56 degree chip up towards the flag here. And I just did not hit that hard enough, nor did I catch it quite clean. So I left it well short. This is a massively uphill, and I was having a hard time getting the read right on this. This is about 20 feet. Hmm. I should have given this putt more time and respect, because it is massively downhill and breaking hard. Look at that. I started that a hole outside right, and within three feet, it fell short. Oh, it's just bad. So that was a triple bogey and my worst hole around. Trying to shake that off. Um, taking driver to this hole. This is the other par 5, 422 yards, all uphill. I squared the club face up and it headed straight down the fairway but that is all that I can say that is good about that drive I actually hit the ground early and then the ball so I'm uh, I'm lucky to even have gotten a decent result out of it I'm gonna lay up here I chose a six iron to try and come up short of the guard bunker in front of the green I flushed that six iron straight up on my line, and I now have 68 yards left to the hole. This is a pretty significant uphill stance. Um, this is a 60 degree, and I plan to hit this pretty full. But I did not compensate for the fact that the ball was it was on such an uphill lie, and I should have. So I ended up catching it fat, and it actually fell short of the bunker. I need to get up and down for par. This is for par. The distance was good. I just hit it left of the hole, and now I'm left with about 12 feet. Obviously, 
obviously I didn't have the read correct at all on that one. And here's about three and a half feet for bogey. And man, that one frustrated me. I actually pulled that putt back and putted it three more times and made it no problem every time. It just was so frustrating. Trying to shake it off, though, and finish the nine here without totally blowing up. Felt good to catch that clean out of the face. I actually landed in the fairway, but the fairway slants right, so it kicked it over into the rough here. I've got 119 left of the flag. I was kind of in between clubs on what I wanted to do here. Um, I picked the longer club, which is my pitching wedge. I carry a pitching wedge about 125. Sorry for the gunshots. This is Michigan. So I caught an absolute flyer out of that rough, and it went well beyond the green. As you can see in the little uh, map in the top right corner, you can see my red dot. I've probably got about 60 yards straight up a hill to a blind green. I got up there, but I still have 45 feet left for par. Massive downhill, massive right to left. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the vlogs as I strive to improve my game. See you next time.